Buccaneers. And it gets even more interesting, Chris, because there are reports now that teams that were talking to Tom Brady under the impression he wants to reunite with a guy he played one game with right. last year in right. New England, Antonio Brown. I don't know that Bruce Arians is going to want Antonio Brown because he was with Brown for two years in Pittsburgh. He knows what goes on behind the scenes. But, uh, you know, is I he, I don't know why Brady would want him either when you've got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin and O.J. Howard and Cameron Braid, who I think is going to, and Joe and Ira Kaufman of Joe Buck's fan agrees, Cameron Braid is going to have a resurgence in this offense yeah, with that's Brady. Right. Do you really think it makes sense to push for an unpopular figure like Antonio Brown to go to Tampa and join forces with Tom Brady? Well, I, yeah, I, they certainly don't need him. Is there risk there? As we know, yes. I mean, we don't even know where he stands with the league yet. Um, if I think there's one coaching staff or head coach that could make all that work and that quarterback who could, you know, keep A and A B on the straight and narrow and focused on the things that are important, damn, I do think it's Bruce Arians and Tom Brady. You know, anything I know about, I mean, Antonio Brown, from everything I know, was living in Tom Brady's house. And there, there, there was a real relationship there where I think Tom Brady, you know, sees a lot of good in Antonio Brown. Probably, you know, hey, recognizes there's some issues there, but I think he sees a lot of the good. And I had heard that a little, that, you know, that conversation came up with different teams during free agency. Now, we don't know if he pitched that with Tampa because, like you said, they're pretty stacked. I mean, hey. You know, Godwin, Evans, they're top five statistical receivers in football. Evans is a superstar, a super, super, superstar. And Godwin is really, really good on the verge of superstardom. So, yeah, that might be too many people to feed and just too much personality. And that could cause issues in the wide receiver room to where I don't think it happens with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Maybe one of those other teams that could have happened, but not the Bucs. Yeah, I'll tell you, I, I, uh, I'm fascinated by the possibility, but you're right. The NFL hasn't decided what to do with Antonio Brown, and uh, he's got several different issues that yeah. could keep him out of the league for half of the season or longer, and I think the NFL's got bigger fish to fry right now than to worry about Antonio Brown, and I'm surprised Tom Brady, if it's true, would be advocating for a team to sign Antonio Brown. But I think when he gets to Tampa, he's going to realize, I don't need Antonio Brown. You're I've right. got a great right. slew of weapons here. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.